G'day and welcome to Nucleares. Today I'm going to show you how to get your plant operational. I've got random catastrophes, the weather consequences, and of course the new experimental chemical module. That's where we are now. We've got our boric acid in the tank. We've got sodium hydroxide, water, and all that sorts of stuff. Our boric acid pumps right there. New control panel, lots of stuff. Let's get it on going. Uh, I want this to be like a playthrough episode one type thing, show you everything along the way and much more. There we go, we just got a nice easy achievement just from walking into our reactor room just like that. Nice and easy, some free money for you. So we can walk on in here and let's get this thing going. So get our panels all on with our pressurizer on. Let's get that on going nice and quick. Let's come on over here and start getting condenser load pump on we'll get our resistor bank on the only one we have available as well as our condenser vacuum pump so that'll increase and so will that one nice and easy let's get our boric acid the one thing i want to use as our only liquid control rod for the fact i want to pull the solid ones over here all the way out and set this to zero and only control the fuel and cores, reactivity and temperature using this boron or boric acid concentration in that internal loop. So it'll be very different on how these things operate. And we'll see the sorts of wear and tear and difference on what it was in previous patches. So this is currently in this episode, we're on 0.124, but in the future, I will continue with these updates as they come out. So let's go ahead and get these Go on, get it in nominal and pop it into the core. I'll leave that panel on for the first time ever and I'll explain a little bit on this factor and what it means. So let's come on over here and let's get this thing set up. It's on 40, we'll turn it on. The pressure is coming up ever so slightly, it will eventually. We have our boron dosing pump set to 50 grams a minute, so that's nice. Resistor banks one on, we've got our core popped in there, we've got our condenser and all that starting to fill up. Vacuum's nearly done, excellent, good, good, good. So I think now would be a good time to start bringing stuff up. So let's start it at 85 because we are putting in a little bit more of a liquid form of our control rods. So it's almost like we're setting it to 90 with both of these combined. So we'll just bring that up. Try and get that reactivity nice and high to bring the temperature up to 360. Just while we're bringing up our internal vessel pressure above 150 to stop any negative coefficient steam bubbles being created and stopping any reactivity or temperature rise in those bubbles themselves. So they're definitely not a good thing. Awesome. We're just about, there we go. There's 55 degrees reactivity. Oh, blue flash, vibration alert. Good, good, excellent. So vacuum's been pulled and so has our condenser level been topped off because the reason why it probably starts so low is the reason is you fill this up using the water or the level from your condenser. Just that way, nice and easy. So we're coming over here. Pressure is nice. We can just flick that on off and I'll just turn that on medium because we'll need to top that up over time. So that shouldn't be too bad. The reactivity is nice and high. It is dropping. So let's go ahead and match suit and drop that down to bring that up nice and high because we need to get some of that U-235 protons, electrons, neutrons to bounce into the xenon that we're creating to try and kill off some of that and try and get a, a nip it in the butt kind of thing as we're bringing this up to get it nice and stable. Good, good. That's awesome. About 17 and a half. It's still dropping. That's okay. Let's see if we can even get that to 60 as it still drops over time. So we're just going to get this to 100 degrees. yep Let's get this on and set down to about 35, I think, might be a good number to start on as that number is dropping as it's above 100 degrees. So once we start producing power off electrical grid, we'll all of a sudden come up. We definitely need to start requesting to output power to the grid. So we'll go ahead and do that that way. And then they'll come back to us with a request received. There it is. So we'll just open that up. 
so we can actually get a specific time on when they're ready for us to give them power. So as soon as our turbine starts creating power using the steam from our generator, we'll get an alarm saying we're off the electrical grid, but it's completely nullified. We'll just wait for that one. And any electricity we're generating is going over to our actual resistors instead of internalizing and blowing up our turbines. So make sure your resistors are on and all that power has somewhere to go before outputting it to the grid. Awesome. Cool, we're still bringing that up. The Xenon is nice. Good, it's bringing it down. We nip that in the butt nice and early. That's really nice, I like that. Oh, there it is. As I said, off the electrical grid, the alarm will start going off. Let's just acknowledge that. Thank you for telling me that we are starting to generate power. Appreciate it. What do we got, going up or going down? We're going up by ones, that's good. This is probably not even turned on. Let's do that right now and let's set it to about 10 or so, I think, because the hotter this is below 100 degrees, the less this has to work to turn it back from water into steam to get reused in your turbines. Nice and easy, there we go. So vacuum's all good, the condenser level's nice. The pressure's coming a little bit down, but that's okay, we'll top that up in a second. This is starting to bring up. There we go, good, 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 good. So that boric acid is still bringing it down as we wish. What I might do is I might bring this up to 70 since we have started killing off that xenon, just so we can just control the reactivity and get a nice equilibrium of this boric acid and the actual control rods being all the way out. So we'll just raise our temperature a little bit slower than what we had it on before, up to 360. Just top up this pressurizer a little bit. And the factor number here just shows how much of the fuel you're practically using to bring it over and heat up your primary coolant system water. That's how that pretty much works on that factor number. So as we get less and less with the reactivity, this number will start dropping less and less, being more efficient in what's being used in the fuel practically. So 10 o'clock, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes it is. So we'll come on over here. The new compensator is absolutely fantastic for bringing this number up a lot faster than what it did in previous patches. So that's really nice feature. How are we going on this? We dropping? Yes, we are. So let's start fighting it and turning it up to about 40 for now. I think that should be good. That should be nice. Temperature is coming up pretty slowly. That's nice. Got heaps of time before that gets out of danger. So I don't want this to go anywhere near or anywhere above 100 degrees because then you've got a TMI or three mile island type thing and it's not going to be good. So we're practically at where we need to be on the boric acid. So I'm going to start slowing this down to about five grams a minute just so we can keep going on it just a little bit while we're taking out all our reactor rods and stuff like that. So what I might suggest we do now is set that all the way to zero and watch this little red light and this being blank. When they're both green, it means their control rods are not moving and they are set to what you've ordered them to be. So that's what I'm kind of looking at when I'm nice and close here, but I'll even zoom out a little bit so you can see the, nub the number. There we go. Excellent, so it's at. 45 at the moment and we're at 10.12 already don't forget that will drop down because we are slightly still putting in some of that boric acid so we're almost where we need to be let's go ahead and possibly leave that it needs to be just a little bit on the other side of that three so you can just see the left hand side of the three when you're straight on looking at this needle with its thickness Excellent. So now our factor number has dropped all the way down. 13, 14 is really nice. Really, really, really nice. 10.03. Excellent. So what I might do is I might go and stop this from putting any in because that might actually be its equilibrium right there. We might even have to clean just a little bit of it out. That's all right. So let's go ahead and do that. So if, I, if you've got too much boric acid in your internal loop, just go ahead and turn its boron filter pump on. Turn it on to 100 just so it kicks up to speed much faster and it actually has an effect over this much faster overall. So we'll just turn that off because that reactivity kind of jumped. 
a little bit just because the control rods finally got set to absolute zero and that's probably a little bit too much so i'm gonna actually just put a bit more boric acid in to bring that reactivity down and the temperature to not raise hopefully above 360 degrees so that should be okay is this dropping or raising that is kind of stabilizing out that's not too bad we are practically almost over capacitizing our resistors so i'm going to crank this all the way to 60 actually no i'm going to crank it all the way to 100 just so we can start getting this done because it's after 10 o'clock we can get our synchroscope raised the speed just so it gets it in the clockwise motion and we want it to get that red dot all the way to the top you see how where it's green let's get it right there slow oh went too fast let's go back one as my random phone goes off thank you spam excellent so let's close the breaker since that's all synchroed in pickle rick yep thank you so much so yes you get the two green lines i'll explain and then you close the breaker we're now outputting power to the grid so let's stop bypassing any steam that's going around our turbines and we want that steam to go through them and produce as much power as we possibly can. The resistors got a little bit warm, but now they'll start bringing down the temperature as this number is at absolute zero. We're stably producing power, so let's go ahead and turn our internal generator to automatic so it shuts down and it doesn't use any fuel. So we used a little bit, we can go and top that up. It's just right above our heads right now. There we go. I'm rather happy with the way all of this is going. How's our reactivity going? 9.77, so that might be a little bit too much. Let's just turn this to zero. And then let's turn this on to 50. There we go. So that can just do it slightly over time. 9.62, 9.64. There we go. We're starting to raise nicely. Excellent. There we go. We'll just wait just a little bit. I want this to be about 10.2, 10.3-ish. And I think that will stabilize out on the temperature and all that good jazz rather nicely i think how are we going on that 10.47 10.52 6165 obviously because the pump takes time to prime down i may have definitely overdone that just a little bit so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set this to one so while we're running downstairs it's actually pumping just an ever so slight amount into the core so i might actually set that to five so it actually starts pumping in sometimes the game thinks that your internal loop is full and won't allow you to pump any in the way you fix that is you just need to empty some of your core coolant level out by opening this rcv valve and then you can just close that back off again and top off your internal loop by using this feed water circuit switch right there nice and easy so let's just come over here turn that off because I was talking and we'll come over here and check it out 10.42 10.41 let's just set it back to one and run downstairs like I said I was going to so I've explained that let's go down there now let's check out the new chemical room all that sorts of good stuff and get some extra free money by showing you the turbine room so there's the control rods all the way out you can actually get a visual representation that they are absolutely useless and they are only going to be meant for when we're shutting down to completely stop that reactivity since we've already got a necessary control rod in there already so that should be really quite nice here we go so as you clean your boric filter or your boric acid out of your internal loop it'll use your ion exchange to get rid of all of that and it will actually lower it's ion exchange capacity all the way down the way you need to clean this out is you close both of these valves i can show you in the next episode you open up the sodium hydroxide by opening this valve don't open that or you'll have an exothermic reaction and create and generate lots of heat in the middle not good there's your boric acid reserve as well once you've done all that you can then turn on that pump with that sodium hydroxide open and actually increase your ion exchange capacity by cleaning it out and dumping all of that boron into the tank below nice and easy so if that doesn't work in the current patch it's a little bit buggy save your game exit out reload it once again and then this will go back to 100 percent nice and easy so we'll go on over to the turbine room 
We've got all our turbines. We've got our pumps. I'll just quickly check their hydraulic and stuff like that. That's nice. Talking about that, I might actually get my AO to turn on and do a preventive maintenance analysis around the plant. He'll come back with a maintenance report telling me all the wear integrities and all that sorts of repair stuff that he can do. I can just pay him to actually go ahead around the plant in specific stages. Sometimes you need to be in a non-reactive state. Sometimes you can just do it in the background by shutting it down. Like I actually did while my reactor was completely outputting power, 360 degrees, completely operational. I shut my condenser completely down, turned its pump all the way off and actually repaired it for two and a half hours in the background while controlling all the temperature and all that sorts of stuff and then turned it back on once that had all been fixed up and continued operation without losing a single hour of your compliance service estimate which was really really nice so here we go we've got that we can just grab that by shift left clicking and just clicking on that Fill up our internal generator, right click and I'll just left click our inventory. Here's our backpack just like that by pressing I nice and easy. Press H and then there's your T button just there. Here we go, we'll go back downstairs and check everything else out. Other than that, it should be rather nice and we should check our reactivity and hopefully, wrong button Sharpie, it hasn't reduced our reactivity by putting too much boric acid in that I'm sure you know how to fix now. So let's just run on over here nice and quick. Pressure is really nice. That's really low, that's okay. So we'll just come on over here, turn this off, not like it was actually doing much anyway. And we'll just set that to 25 and turn that on, I think. Come on over, quickly look, and have a look at our reactivity. It should raise up, excellent. So I might even turn that down since that's an immediate effect in my one, down to 10. There we go, just so it does a little bit slowly. That's nice. That boric acid concentration, our control rods, as you saw, completely out. They're only going to be used for when we're shutting down and we can hit that scram button. So at the moment, it's just before 11 o'clock and we still have the word starting and all the word shutting down means the city doesn't care how much power you are outputting to the grid and they will not pay you regardless until 11 and 12. So between that and afterwards, then they'll start paying you. So make sure you keep that in mind. How are we going on this? Very stable. Temperature's going awesome. Our reactivity is practically stable where we want it to be. Yep, let's go and turn that off. As I said, I want it to be about 10.1, 10.2. That might be a little bit too much, but we can fix that in the next episode. Thank you so much once again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It always helps the channel, helps it to get out to other people with that YouTube algorithm, all that good jazz and more. But stay sharp till next time as always. See ya.